one of my favorite shows to watch on YouTube is The Pivot. The Pivot has Ryan Clark, a former Pittsburgh Steeler and Washington commander, uh, and also has Channing Crowder, former Miami Dolphin, and also Fred Taylor, a uh, former Jacksonville Jaguar. And for a brief stint, he played with the Patriots, too, I believe. But anyway, um, it has those three former NFL players, and on there, they'll bring on different guests, uh, whether it be football players, whether it be music artists, whether it be whoever. And they do a great job of interviewing them. They have a very, very, very nice dynamic. Uh, today's guest on the show was none other than Baltimore Ravens' new running back, Derrick Henry. Uh, and he had a lot of interesting stuff to say. They had a lot of interesting stuff to say about him and the new situation, of course, with him and Lamar Jackson, him and Pat Ricard. Derrick Henry talked about Zay Flowers, Mark Andrews. He talked about the team, talked about how he wouldn't want his son to play football. He talked about growing up in Florida, how it was a small town, and everybody knew everybody. He talked about his dad. He talked about a lot of stuff. But I think somebody that was watching, they were sitting back and watching, and they were probably thinking, man, that should have been me was the guy who we talking about in today's video mr jk dobbins i think he probably watched that and maybe got a little jealous and said you know what let me send these people a reminder just in case they forgot who i am what i can do and the fact that i am available called his agent he said agent send the text and this is the report that we got today it says uh, free agent running back J.K. Dobbins has been cleared for football activities. Dr. Neil Atrache wrote in a letter to select teams today. I wonder who those select teams were. Anyway, it says, noting, Dobbins looks outstanding coming off of a torn Achilles. Dobbins, who averages 5.8 yards per carry in his career, is expected to take visits soon. So J.K. Dobbins, he, he, he read that and he said, okay, let's make a few edits and whatnot. Then they, that was the final copy. He said, oh yeah, looks good to me. Go ahead and send it. Now, with J.K. Dobbins, should the Baltimore Ravens bring back J.K. Dobbins? Because I think that's a conversation that a lot of Ravens fans have been having recently. We're going to get into that very, very shortly. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are almost, slowly but surely, getting to 75,000 subscribers. So that's going to be a, a beautiful thing when we get there. But I appreciate all y'all that have been helping us get there. So subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and run them likes all the way up. Like we said in the previous video, I, I know that your time is extremely valuable. So I appreciate the fact that y'all spend so much of your time with us on a daily basis, literally every single day. Todos los días. I appreciate y'all a lot. So thank you. I love you. And somebody else who we got a lot of love for was J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins had some fun moments uh, throughout his Ravens career. Um, will his career be over with the Baltimore Ravens? Now, we'll see. Because they obviously got a new sheriff in town at the running back position in Derrick Henry. Uh, they have a returning running back uh, in Justice Hill. Uh, and they have another returning running back uh, who we don't know when he's going to return yet, though. And that being Keaton Mitchell. Uh, John Harbaugh did say the other day, he said, hey, we... We've been talking to J.K. Dobbins and Dalvin Cook uh, about the possibility of those guys coming back, whether it's one or the other, both. We'll see. Maybe none, but we'll, we'll see. But with J.K. Dobbins, what do y'all think? Do y'all think it would be a good idea if the Baltimore Ravens brought him back? I feel like people are – I don't feel like anybody's on the fence with this one at all. I, I've seen a lot of Ravens fans say – Either, yes, the Ravens need to bring him back. I want my dog, J.K., to come back. He needs to be a Baltimore Raven this year. Let him come back for one more run. Then I've seen other people on the other side say, no, let him go. J.K. Dobbins does not need to be a Baltimore Raven in the year 2024. He's done. Need to move on. And, and I get where both sides are coming from because the side that wants him back is like, hey, J.K. Dobbins got all the qualities of a running back one, but the only thing that's been in his way, which is a huge thing that has been in his way, has been injuries. But then the people who don't want J.K. Dobbins back, they may feel the exact same way. Hey, he got all the potential of a running back one, but the only big thing that's been in his way has been injuries. And for that, they don't want him to return. The way I feel about J.K. Dobbins, um, I, I do feel like it would not be a bad thing if the Baltimore Ravens brought him back, but it would need to be one of those deals. And it, it's not my money. And, of course, this would be up to J.K. Dobbins, too, to even accept such a thing because he doesn't have to. He could go somewhere else, and they may give him more guaranteed money and whatnot. But I think if the Baltimore Ravens brought him back, it would be wise of them to give him a deal 
where it was he got per game roster bonuses. And what that means is that if he if he plays, then he gets paid. But if he didn't play, then he wouldn't get paid. And I think that would be smart because that would protect the Baltimore Ravens. It wouldn't necessarily protect a J.K. Dobbins, but he would be somewhere that he's very familiar with in a system that he knows he didn't get to play in it too much. He played in it for a partial game, but he was learning it for an entire offseason. So that would give him a shot to be behind Derrick Henry. And because, you know, Ravens do running back by committee. Now that they got Derrick Henry, I wonder if things will be a, big, a, bit, a bit different because Derrick Henry <laughs> in Tennessee, that was not running back by committee at all. It was Derrick Henry, and that's it. He even talked about how um, one time in high school, he talked about this on a pivot. I know you're going to watch it. Uh, he talked about one time in high school how he got 57 carries in a game. <laughs> 57 carries in a game. Like, when the last time you heard of a, a Ravens running back even getting 30 carries in a game, getting 25 carries in it, that doesn't happen at all. Like, for a Ravens running back to get 57 carries, that's probably like, that might be like six, seven games. Like, for real. Because, you know, Ravens running back, they might get like 10 here, maybe 12 here. Ooh, 15 if you're feeling lucky, but you ain't going to get that much. So, now, I, I just wonder how the dynamic is going to be now that it's Derrick Henry. Uh, are they going to still do this running back by committee or is he really going to be the focal point uh, when it comes to the running back room? We'll see soon. But what about J.K. Dobbins? Uh, we, of course, we saw that video um, maybe about a month ago where J.K. Dobbins was running on a treadmill and we couldn't tell if he was 100 percent or not because he was he was doing these quick sprints, but they weren't like sprints down a football field, or anything like that. But there was quick sprints in a room uh, and he did look good doing them. Uh, but now this is big for him because, again, this said that he's been cleared for football activities. Now, um, something that was very interesting that we spoke about briefly is that uh, they wrote they wrote in a letter to select teams. So they ain't send this letter to everybody, but they sent this letter to select teams, letting them know like, hey, I got JK. Hey, he's available. And I wonder if, again, we talk about timing all the time. And the timing of this is very interesting because, um, not because of the Derrick Henry on the Pivot podcast, we were just joking about that, but more seriously, uh, the timing of the running back market because the first big wave of free agency has passed already. So now free agency, people are still getting signed, of course, but free agency has kind of quieted down a lot, especially with the running backs. Uh, Saquon Barkley, he got the big money. Of course, Derrick Henry, he got signed to uh, the Ravens. Josh Jacobs, he got the, the big four-year, $48 million deal with the Packers. Uh, DeAndre Swift, he got signed by the Bears, I believe. So all the, the, the top running backs, they are off the market, and it's quieted down. It's quieted down a lot. So I, I think this timing, it, it says a lot to me because I think it's J.K. Dobbins trying to take advantage. Like, all right, hey, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm available. That first wave of running backs, that's done and over with now. Yeah, I'm not going to make as much money as them, but let me get on with a team because I'm ready. And with this being March, uh, they got a while to still. They got a while till they start the uh, the OTAs, the organized team activities, and obviously an even longer period of time before they start training camp. So this will be a great time for him to get on, especially again timing. The timing of this is very very important, and it's something that we have to pay attention to. If I'm J.K. Dobbins, I want to sign somewhere before the draft that's coming up in a month. Because with J.K. Dobbins, it's tough, man. Because, again, good running back. Very good running back. But the injuries have absolutely destroyed his career. So, now imagine this. You got a draft coming up. Seven rounds, 32 uh, picks per round. You got the comp picks and all that, too. You got the supplemental draft. You got undrafted rookie free agents. And then you still got free agents that are available too but at the running back position there's a lot of young guys that are going to be coming out of that draft that teams are going to be looking at and they're gonna be like oh they don't have an injury history oh they got a clean bill of health oh they don't have four years in the nfl already 
that have been just derailed by injuries. They don't. They, I don't have to worry about that with this rookie coming out. So that's would make all the sense in the world why J.K. Dobbins and his camp would put this out now, so he can get signed ASAP. He can get as much guaranteed money as he can he possibly can from whatever team is gonna be ASAP. Because the longer it takes J.K. Dobbins to get signed, in my opinion, the less guaranteed money. That he would get I think it would be already be hard enough for him to get A significant amount of guaranteed money With his injury history Because nobody's going to want to shell out a, a bunch of guaranteed money To somebody who's missed uh, so many games Over the course of their four year career But see the thing that's on J.K.'s side Is just his ability What he has put on film uh, Over the past four years And when he does play He's good He's really good But he just got to be out there that's why I think if the Baltimore Ravens did bring him back, it would be heavy on the incentives, the per game incentives, the per game roster bonuses. Um, if he was active on game day, that it would be heavy, heavy, heavy on that. But at the same time, uh, if the even if the Ravens don't bring him back, whatever team he goes to, I think the contract will be constructed like that. Uh, I think J.K. Dobbins will get anywhere from a one to a two year deal. Um, but I think the if any guarantees at all, they'll be crazy low. Um, and it'll be something that he really has to earn because he got he got to gain a lot of people's trust back. Um, he got to show these teams, these franchises like, hey, I can play. I can last a full season. I can do it. But at the same time, uh, a lot of these teams may already have. Their running backs and if they don't have their running backs then they could be looking at the draft like oh we got plenty of cheap options through the draft we ain't got to use a first round pick you could you could but you ain't got to you could use a second round pick third fourth fifth sixth, whatever you use uh, it can be a lot cheaper than signing a free agent so it's it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens with J.K. Dobbins, where he ends up taking those visits to, what teams ended up getting this letter. Uh, but we are rooting for J.K. Dobbins. I, I, I do want to see it work out for him. I would love to see him running healthy. And, you know, by how things have been going, by how they almost looking like the the former Ravens, Avengers or something over there, I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up over there in L.A. with the Chargers, with Greg Roman, with Gus Edwards, with um, the tight end, uh, Hayden Hurst, uh, with Jim Harbaugh, uh, with Bradley Bozeman, and whatever other former Ravens end up over there real soon.